Just look at somebody and say, I love you. You don't have to know them. I love you. Because God is love. Just look at somebody and say, I love you. I love you. Yes. Move on. You have to move over to somebody and see if you know them. You may be your brother and sister at this area. Just move over to somebody. Pass this one. Minister Danali, I love you. He can't even know you're getting so much trouble sometimes, but I love you. Yes, I love you. Hello. If, if, if my 
phone should ring accidentally says that I'm vibrate and somebody call me. The first thing I'm gonna say to them is like, I'm in church, so when I get you understand as long as I'm somebody be by the church, and then you know me have to keep the phone for them call before they ask for the direction or to come in around the corner of the time or I tell them I love the little song so much, I'm gonna get it away. And the young people them kind of vibes me up. They like some of the gospel songs there, yeah. Yes. I love all of them, you know, but I have some special ones, like Monty Paul, you know. Somebody give God some praise. Glory to God. So, 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 my Holy Ghost selector will release the song before I get into the word. I'm going to lift up your spirit with this song. If you don't know the word, just rock it. You know, I rock one of the wrong way, I rock one of the wrong way. Hallelujah. Sorry. Let's get the spirit truly and just worship. Let's get the moment that you're and just worship. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord, we worship you. Lord, we lift you up and honor you. Hallelujah. This is the blind boy.
there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Be strong and of a good courage. For unto this people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayst observe to do according to all the law which Moses thy servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. The word is talking to me too. Three times, be strong. Be strong of good courage and be not afraid. It's talking to me. I don't know about you, but it's really ministering back to me. Be strong. Be not afraid. Neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee. Whithersoever thou goest. And I stop right there. And then just ask me to sit and take in the word and absorb the word and chew the word like the cow do. When the cow eat the grass, the cow bring up back the grass and chew on it. So I'm just asking you to take the word, be silent in the presence of the Lord. If you have to say something to somebody, you can try your best. You know that some of us carry like some hundred volume speaker inside like myself. I don't, have, I don't need a mic to preach, but you can still try to whisper. Hallelujah, something to somebody, and so that the word can flow with power and with clarity. Today, I welcome you. I appreciate every one of you in the house, both male and female, masculine and feminine. Welcome. You are welcome in the house of the Lord today. All those that are from beautiful ashes, God bless you. May the blessings of the Lord be upon you. And as you walk to the door of this synagogue today, this temple, Yes, this place of worship, this sanctuary, the blessings of the Lord is already open to more because you are already blessed. So it's just more blessed. Today, as the Lord would allow me to read from Joshua 1, 1 verse to 9, and it's the Lord who allowed me to read because I didn't have to be here today. Some people is in their big fat power and they think that they can go to bed and wake up in the morning by themselves and they can do anything they want to do or say anything. But it is God who allowed me to be here today, even by worshiping and by reading the word. Because I didn't know what time I fall asleep last night. I went to Mandeville all the way to Cecil Charlton Park with Omega Radio Station there yesterday that I was asked to pray and they have a big thing down here with concert and prayer for the city, for the town, for the city of Manchester and other places they pray for children and family and, and education and you name it, the Prime Minister, all those in the government sector, men and women, they pray and we all pray, different intercessors, different leaders get different topics to pray on but I didn't have to be here today anything could happen so I give God the glory. Somebody lift your hands and shout glory. glory. Somebody lift your hands and shout glory. glory. You see, sometimes you hear a preacher talk and God talking to the preacher. The devil is fighting for your soul. The devil is fighting for your soul. It doesn't really matter if you're saved or unsaved. He's fighting for your soul. And because he's fighting for your soul, Marcans and Brian's could be fighting for you. Oh, you don't know there's a fight with funeral parlor. Oh, you didn't know that. When somebody died, everybody wants to get the body. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Nobody never seen a good man before they had a man and a one day you got to make they get a man there. Someone will never talk to you. Sorry, you never seen a good man before you get your husband and the man yes. was good. Yes. And sometimes the man not yes. first say, I'm waiting for my husband that come. Yes. 
Where is the shirt? You say yes? Yes. I'm say yes, Lord, man. Yes. So you hold the YouTube phone on YouTube, you know, and say yes, Lord. Top truth. God love truth. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You're in a church and you're single. And you don't have nobody. And when you look, you see a nice man coming, dress good, look good. We all know that the devil dress good and look good. Yes. But we are talking to God. Yes. I man, if God said no money for me, man. Never yes. come to your thought yet. Yes, you see, man. Because you're in a church and that's so nice. They're coming and you're one, you're one, you're one, you're one. Amen, Ryan. Yes. Oh, amen. Yes. Somebody give God some praise. Somebody give God some praise. <laughs> 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 So this morning, the word that the Lord would have me to bring to you from Joshua 1, verse 1, 2 to 9. Glory be to God. It's your breakthrough. It's your breakthrough. It's your breakthrough. It's your breakthrough. There's no itch and there's no doubt. It's your breakthrough. Yes, Lord. It's your breakthrough. Yes, Lord. Look at somebody and tell them it's your breakthrough. It's your breakthrough. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Remember, God could ask me to say it's time for your breakthrough. Yes. But he did not say it's time for your breakthrough. He said it's your breakthrough. Oh, do you really believe it? I'm not feeling a yes, feel. Yes, it's my breakthrough. Like, I'm feeling a feel like some people, everybody rich and have money and got <laughs> things going and nobody no want to sing change from their house and nobody now practice it's from their house. It's my breakthrough. Nobody also looks like it's old and could have the current of vehicle and nobody no want to drive nothing and me again. Look at somebody and say it's your breakthrough. It's your breakthrough. Minister, it's your breakthrough. Sammy, it's your breakthrough. Pastor, Calvin Tucker, you are my husband, we live together. But God is telling you today that it's your breakthrough. Lord, God, you see me. The, the number of man. We can talk to man. Man. Yes. God said to tell you it's your breakthrough. Yes. Oh, somebody give God some yes. praise. Oh, yeah. Can talk to God. Hallelujah. Can talk to God. Can I talk to man? Any other man inside or on your own side on YouTube or on Facebook Live? God is saying to you that it's your breakthrough. Talk to God. Talk to God. Right? Talk to God. Talk to God. But He's talking to everyone. Everybody, Lord God Almighty, it's not a personal word, it's a corporate right now. It's your breakthrough. You can't see your way through, but it's your breakthrough. You're going to lose so you can't see your way through that now. But God has exposed you to it. He must tell you to your breakthrough. Lord God Almighty, Minister, that everybody don't know where you are, but you. The bills, them can't be here. And they're just a buck up one by one. And you all have to squeeze up and something. Oh, yeah, Cantalaba, I eat Cantalaba. When 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 C
he met someone will look mad. He met someone will act mad. But today I decree and declare that word that was spoken over your life negative. I command them to go now. I shut them out for you under the power and the authority of the Almighty God. Today you are free. You just want somebody to guide you in the right way so that you will do everything in the right way. I decree and declare that the Lord will use you like a mighty warrior in the right way as you open up yourself for him to bless you, for him to detox you. God is doing a cleansing in your body and I hear God say, stay with me. Oh yeah, Kantadapa. He Kantadapa. I hear God say, stay with me. And if you stay with me, I will lift you above your contemporaries. If you stay with me, I will lift you above your enemies. For your enemies that say, ha ha, after you, the enemies that you see today, said God, tomorrow you will see them no more. The Egyptians that you see today, said God, tomorrow you will see them no more. A great generation of Christ. A brave generation of Christ. A brave generation of Christ. Somebody give God some praise. Somebody give God some praise. Somebody worship the Lord. As a maker of heaven and earth. Somebody give God some praise. Somebody worship Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a glory some praise. And he will even move whenever we be. Somebody give him praise. You see the way is the way up. Yes. You see the way down is the way up. I don't mind you carrying me down, Lord. Cause one thing I know that when I go down, you better watch me going up. You better watch me coming up. Don't sorry for me when I'm going down. Don't sorry for me when God bring me down. Don't have a pity party for me when God bring me down. Don't you laugh at me that when God bring me down. Don't laugh at me when the Lord set me on a long fall. And I get my skin in and my clothes is falling off. If you don't understand what's going on, shut your mouth and go to God. Somebody give God some praise. Somebody give the Lord a glory. Some praise. I want it for pastors and some people say I'm Bishop so when they say there is a Lord Bishop so and so and pastor so and so and so I want it close and jump out of him But I would rather you shut your mouth and pray for the Bishop Shut your mouth when you see them get mad and pray for the pastor Because sometimes God put us on some fast in the now we know he is the night off, but the way down is the way up. Somebody lift your hand and give God some prayer. No matter nobody block your prayer too today. Nobody let nobody block your blessing. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah! Yes, God. I'm going to share a short message today. Message I am. What is the flow of the Holy Ghost? You know this I don't have any message this is your name. You have to do what God has me to do, not what man wants me to do. A man will run things. A God can't keep me and back to the way right now and tell me to keep somebody else the mind. No man will run things in a church. Man a man yours. Hello, somebody. I said, God and God, a man a man yours. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. You can't know some man a man yours. You see, they have a, a cemetery where they a couple years ago yeah. and they pick it up and put them the, the American um, the Canadian embassy there yeah. and, and a disease like cholera when somebody buried under the earth with cholera it should never be evil that's why so many things are break out sometimes because the wind catch the dust the cholera dust when it dig up and blow it all over and people sick with all kind of complaint and doctor can't find the name of him so I'm just give it a name somebody give God some praise when COVID comes the other day, they make some trends long from like foreign to out here, and long like hell, and they throw man inside of him. People just scare them, family go throw them, and they don't see them again. They bury them in a trench. They never give them no coffin, they just throw 
put them in a train. Somebody give God some prayer. Y'all don't know the yard door. Now exalt yourself by y'all and nobody. Somebody give God some prayer. The Bible tells me that when I think I am sweet, I am sick. Let me talk about myself. Me the Bible tell me. Then that thing I word, yes, it is the kind you not read the Bible. You yeah, read your money and read your family. And yeah, read your clothes and your books. Somebody give God some praise. Somebody give God some praise. Joshua 1, verse 1 to 9. Your breakthrough is now. Yes. Developing a breakthrough mentality. Developing a breakthrough mentality. When you develop a breakthrough mentality, you don't get up over here and just think about over there, over there, over there. Yes. Oh, you didn't hear me. We say you don't get up over there and just think about over there, over there. Because a wrong mindset about over there. Yes. You don't get up over there and just think about witchcraft, witchcraft, about witchcraft there. Yes. Coming up priest, give up pretty cut it there. Yes. People with sure witchcraft, my yes. own. But you don't get up over there and just over there, over there. If somebody comes and you think about over there, if they touch this, they think about over there. You think of over there. That's a wrong mindset. Yes. And when you have those wrong mindsets, you will go crazy. Yes. We act like over there. Everything can't be over That's right. And if everything keep a hobby, I mean, over there, 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 I mean, it's a compound word made up of two words, break and chew. Break and chew. Oh, so when God broke you, how can you have a chew? What a revelation. I mean, they get that before. I look forward to having come to church. I look forward to church. We did not know the leadership of Bishop Warren and it was 20, 20 something years. And don't have Bishop doing less of how much that years of work for him. We never get that, you know. You know, Revelation does bust. Yes. I don't know if I your dress red. <laughs> Say those bust. Revelation does bust when God have broke your dana. Yes. I'll show him a true. Yes. Yes. So I'll let broke up where you get ready. Yes. Break you now. Yes. yes. Break you now. So God have broke you up. Yes. Or break you for the, in, for the people from England and the Swiss people there. Break. God have to break you. But yes. that's what I mean, broke me up. Yes. And yes. then he carry you too. Right. Oh God. Break through. The word break conveys such char characteristic meaning as force to divide or destroy into pieces. Put out of repair. So that's why sometimes you feel like you're out of sake. Yes. Because God puts you out of repair. Yes. But because he, he is the repair of the breach. He know how to set you up back. Yes. And when he set you up back, he also made you a repair of the breach. Yes. So that you can go into the cities and the towns and the, and the little corner and the crevices of all the different places, towns, and wherever to minister to young people and to minister to people and young men like yourself. Oh God Almighty. And to let them know that Jesus loved them. Yes, Put you out of repair, terminate, disintegrate you, violate, end of effectiveness. So when God break you and I break you, you don't even feel effective. You come to church, but you don't feel effective, but you still have to wear Yes. I don't know that God of God. Because nobody else can be God. You feel out of place. Anybody else try to pray God then? The last woman who speak against God two weeks after then. Oh, you don't hear me. Be careful what you say about God. Hello, somebody. A one God, and he's the king of kings, and the Lord of lords. He's a conquering lion of the tribe of Judah. God and the Spirit, you know what ramp with him, the ram. And if you do do a ramp, you chop your ramp, bro. Of something had to force one's way. When God break you, you can't stop it. If when man say my come for you, when you come in a broad daylight. And if you not come in a broad daylight, and if you put up some big ball like when was scared, we still come for you. When God has break you, you can't stop it. You could have gone to the atmos part of the sea, spread your bed in hell. You can't escape my fire. Yes, yes, yes. Meanwhile, the word through implies an a, a created entry or an avenue for passage or access. There's no escape for you. I said the word through implies a creative entry or an avenue for passing. 
to draw access. Which man you get run on high ground, God? Look here. I have a son, you see. Well, you already know what my son doing now here is working. We don't have to say it. But every time my son comes to the house and I look at him, I see a pastor. Every time I look at my daughter, I see somebody who carries the evangelistic anointing who God is going to use prophetic as a prophetess. They could have spread them dead in hell. Look at the money, so look at the money, the type of that week no more. They could have spread them in a prayer that no picnic, but no picnic, no bigger than a woman or no papa. I'm living your home here. And your son will pick their boy like that. Show them bigger and more than a husband, them bigger than father and mother. No picnic, no bigger than mother. You can't be. You can't be. The woman, you're a picnic. You could have 40, 50 years picnic. And your parents can always guide you and correct you. That sometimes some of them don't want a correction from you know. Because they're big and husband and can't hug up and feel some of the side of them in a bit now. And things change and rearrange. But when certain big problems take you, who oh, you think they're still around from God? No. No big thing about that me and bigger than me. Me and your mother. And if you're a father, you have to respect your father too. Come on somebody. Jesus. Glory be to God. By merging these two words together, we arrive at a clear definition of the term breakthrough. 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 And if you want that easy information, it's not a problem to give you. And you know that. And nobody can carry information to the grave with them. And too much pop up up there with people dead and gone ahead. Ah. And they may have a lot inside and nobody will get it from them. Breakthrough is simple and up or instance of breakthrough and obstruction and obstacle, endurance or roadblock. Oh, someone has got it. So sometimes when some things are happening, and we are pleading blood, 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 and a bind, bind, bind. We are buying God, but nobody can buy the Holy Ghost. Because it's not everything that happened to us that we got through. It's the devil, devil, devil. Yeah, we are. Devil in a corner, why sometimes? Me don't know if he be a walk out one soon, then say a man. But he might buy another certain people that tell like one. Because God is working out a way for your breakthrough. But because you are getting the breaking and the cracking and your bone are broke up and all the more power you are broke up, you are said, devil, devil, devil. And sometimes you will see a wonderful little home, you are coming over this one, over this one, over this one, over this one, over this one. That never happened to you yet. Yes, that's right. That's what you're talking to me now can't get mature yes. but more thinking used to me yes. and I am telling you today if you give up everything you think for hobby and witchcraft or whatever some of the things that are happening is not really no attack it's got to break you yes. in order to take the yes. break you sure. Sure. because you can't just go to your break you sure. because I'm already full of pride yes. he can't talk about he can't talk about and if you just go to your break you do you have to for the people in England, Canada, and all those yeah, as well. Over the world. What about Jamaica? You can't say broke up. No, you have some speaking spoken out here and some push people. Break up for them. But broke up for those who talk flat on. Enough time to go find the preacher. You can't even come to dinner. So, you know, I'm a third 10 year visa. I'm a go up there and I try to talk. But I feel like I'm a tongue and buy it. So, I just talk flat on. <laughs> and the people in the church of Jamaica, they say, come on now, come down to our level. But you don't know, sometimes you hear some little people out here, and you know some church, and you don't know when you go far and you can't go speak for God. But you know what God do for me most of the time when I go, go away, the churches are free, dying and kids are being cut. And they love me and they love it. Somebody keep God, because when you come, it's like you come fresh. They are Jamaican too, but you come fresh. And you come with something fresh. And they love you and they shower you with love. Although you have some bad one, bad mind one in the church, and some bad mind leader up, up in some foreign church. Eh? When you go and the treatment that is you are getting, they become bad mind. I want to pay the food, somebody buy you. Let's have I never buy food. I never buy food. Buy food, get your pastor to kind of buy none for me. And they did a long time and you're a big cow, you know. I'm telling you. I've been through that experience, but I forgive them. Yes. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. Somebody give God some praise. Glory. So breakthrough is simple and act 
or instance of breaking through an obstruction, an obstacle, endurance, or roadblock, it is also an act of forcing a way against opposition. When we break through, we prevail. That's right. Chevelle sing a song, and she say, I prevail. When we break through, we prevail. When we break through, we conquer. And the word of God tells me that I am not just a conqueror, but I am more than a conqueror. Oh, you didn't hear me, Trisha. You are not just a conqueror. You are more than a conqueror. If you open this place to the end, you know that you are more than a conqueror. Lift your hands and say, I am more than a conqueror. You, more than a conqueror. Yes. you see, it's good to say I am a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror. It's so good to say I am a conqueror. Yes. But the Bible declares in the word of God that you are more, more than, than a conqueror. So I'm not just a conqueror. I am more than a conqueror because I have God back in me. I have God on the side. I have him on the left. I have him on the right. I have him before me. I have him behind me. He tells me in Jeremiah 29, 11, that he knows the plans he have for me. Plans of good and not of evil to give me a hope and a future. He tells me in Romans 8, verse 28, and 29 that all things not suffer but all things work together for my good to them that love me and are called according to his purpose he did not say some things oh you, you don't you don't understand what i'm trying to get across because it's your breakthrough he did not say some things so when some people separate from me that's one of the things so when some people don't call you again, stop worry about it and fret yourself. It's because God wants to give you a breakthrough and he don't want them in the breakthrough. He don't want them to be a part of the breakthrough. So when I'm not getting some telephone call again and everything cut off and some people discuss you and tear you on the phone and have a conference talk and the same conference talk backfire also upon them and expose them. God is trying to give you a breakthrough. Why are you worrying yourself? Uh, so, 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 if, if, if it boils down that it's only me and Pastor Calvin come to church to worship God, God is getting ready to give me my breakthrough. Oh, glory be to God. So, why are you worrying, Pastor? Why are you worrying, Bishop? Pastor, why are you worrying when you see a few people call and leave the church? They were not to be there. Why are you trying to hold on to people? There were pilgrims passing through. Oh, you don't hear me, so why are you crying up over spill milk? There were pilgrims passing through. They were not to be there forever. God bring them to catch a few stuff to swallow it so that they could learn something where you are. And if God bring them back, you better celebrate them. Or oh, you don't hear me. If God bring them back, you better celebrate them. Bishop, why are you worried? Pastors and pastors, servants of God, why are you worrying? Because you see a sibling going on in the church. God got to sin the church. He is the same God that tells you in his word. He said, let the wheat and the tear grow until the day of harvest. So when he's doing the sibling, allow him to do the sibling. Allow him to do the sibling. I ain't going to cry when no one leaves the church. I ain't going to vex with you either when I see you on the road and pass your door, talk to you. You can always vex. You can always dirty up your heart. But I won't dirty up my heart because in Psalm 51, David declares in that psalm as God speaks to him, he said, Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. A clean hands and a pure heart shall see God. I want my heart to be clean. I want my heart to be pure. I don't want to walk around with no dirty heart. See no pastors and no leaders and making up my face and pushing up my mouth and fucking up myself and sweating like a frog. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah! Somebody give God some praise. Why are you worried? Because God is shifting some people from your circle. Why are you worrying? Because the friends that you have within the last two, three years, you don't see them around. 
holy people that God put in your life. He put them in your life for a Caesar. There is Mango Caesar. There is King of Caesar. I know a man by the name of Deacon Paul. See him kid not come in until September when everybody gets it done. But when you get it to eat, everything melt off in your mouth. Everybody carry a Caesar. Somebody give God some praise. Look at somebody and tell them, sit down in your Caesar. And your breakthrough is now. Look at somebody and tell them, lie down in your Caesar. Lie down in your Caesar. Sit down in your Caesar. Sleep in your Caesar. Walk in your Caesar. Your Caesar right now might not look good. But God say your breakthrough is now. Maybe when you leave your anger, one you know, see nothing wrong. But God say, oh, yeah. God said your breakthrough is now. Tomorrow morning you would have wake up. But it don't look bright at all. It look windy and dreary. It look dark. But God said your breakthrough is now. Lie down in your season. Some of your God is putting you into a place of rest. Take your rest. Because when the time comes for work, I walk your way up your walk. Somebody give God some praise. Somebody. I want to tell some leaders too, because I'm not afraid to talk to no leader, whether face to face, harp on life or wherever, I'm not afraid. God has put more than a poor anointing in me. It's not every time your body now functions right, it's the devil. Sometimes God will allow that to happen, to put you into a time of rest. Sometimes two week rest, three week rest, sometimes a month rest, because he wants to speak to you. He wants to whisper some things and tell you. He wants to tell you some little secret between you and him. He wants to tell you some things that you didn't fully understand. So he puts you in a quiet time, and it seems that if a sick you're sick, are you not feeling well? But have God put you upon bed rest? God put you upon bed rest. No matter how you put your upon bed rest, no. Make him put your upon bed rest. Somebody give God some praise. And you will realize that God put you to rest to speak to you. Because sometimes you will be a girl, you don't want to take no rest, you don't want to rest. So you just know how to give you rest. Look at somebody and say it's your breakthrough. It's your breakthrough. It's your breakthrough. Get too fluffy. You need them a 
mess up your mind and make you think of foolishness and negative. Think if there's somebody comes to outside of you, okay? Think if there's somebody touch you, them are okay? Like, not them the foolishness that are called church. If them the foolishness in your mind, something wrong with the mind, and your mental faculty, you have to put it on the altar and say, God, let my mental faculty line up and let my mind line up with the mind of Christ. Because when you come to church, you come to get a word. Yes. You come to get a word. And sometimes when you come to get a word, God will give you a word too. But sometimes you just have to soak up you know, the presence of the Lord and just hear them. And when the right time and the right season, you deliver the word. Because I always tell a person, when God gives you a word, Sister Keisha, you give your woman that your word and you search today and you know, find it for 10 years. When you see me and in 10 years, you give me the same word and you know it's not me. That's God. When is God? And if God must say this is a hot word, when it's a run, go find Pastor Scully or Deacon Pod. You can just sit and relax. And if you think your prayers are going to pop just write it down. But when you see the person, once it's a word that connects, the person went said, this is confirmation, and that's God. Hallelujah. Every time your anointing increase, your boy is experience deathless. Every time you get a blessing in your physical. Because some people get a blessing in your physical, workplace, your promotion, boss promote you, raise up here, something. Somebody come to come attack you, or they attack you before. And then when you get the blessing, you say, Oh, and this is a come when we go through this. The yoke is drawing and burden removing power of God. I become, com you have to become combat and ready. The devil will watch you rise to greatness, applauding you. He will instigate people against you. So I will sit down with you and devil applaud them. First of all, the devil will say, even if you come nowhere near all this and nigga here, this a black nigga here. Much less you get an applaud from him. Come in a light, nothing about him. Because they will lie and they will be wicked. They will make people tell lies by you. They will make people put up pastors against you. They will make leaders put up leaders against leaders. Me don't like devil. And some pastors full of hypocrisy and no tech news. Them and their wife and thingy and generation and everything they hear so you start to believe it too. Me don't like devil. Me don't like devil. Devil will tell you to be eat me and not have nothing to do with me. God, we have sent me to come be a blessing to you. And the devil tell us that I have nothing to do with her. Water her off. Stay far from her. Give her a cold shoulder. Shake your body, shake your shoulder. When you come near, you'll be like, you know, see her. Get up and carry. What are you doing tonight? Devil will tell you all kinds of things to do. Yeah. And that time God has sent me come to bless you. I mean, I like devil. Yes. What's this you going to take? Oh, yeah, you can't stop that. And applaud from the devil. Be careful of who applaud is sometimes. I am not saying that applaud can be good, but be careful who are who applaud you. Because some applaud is satanic applaud. Some applaud is a catch to catch you. Yes. Just like all enough people want someone to come at their church. But because we don't know what God said, we don't know you. We don't look on them and pay them no mind. Some of them here to know and can't take on them. Because they set up them trap and say what they have to say. I'm coming at them diplomatic sites. But you don't know what God said, you don't know what I'm saying. Until you're ready to do what you want, you don't know what I'm saying.
and people who are growing in our black men. Do what are we are black people? Which brown in our black men? Anybody cut your red blood? Come on. You could have you could have dark like skin and black and dark like the equipment. Let's go. Then cut your red blood. Come on. Go brown in our black men. And everybody want to have shiny color. Look like they're going to put a container out, out of all those seaside to carry them for Hong Kong. So everybody has kept shiny color. Yes! You have self and cat, you want shiny color. You have self and cat, and you, your color higher than shiny. We have made millions of dollars before you. My and your cat, they want to make $10,000. Shiny shop, they in front of you and make millions of dollars. You want shiny color. And when you look for you, feel your color higher than the shiny till you pay. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. You're not having bed for this preaching today. If you have bleach, hallelujah, you change. You bleach till you burn up. You don't want all your money for bleaching cream right now. You want it. I wish you attack, I you me attack. And you're not having friend me. So I'm going home to a husband and a bed. Not to mention Jesus. So we need to come out of sin. We're back in our sin. We're nasty in our sin. We're sick in our sin. So we need to tell God, say, God, if you bless me with a husband, I'm blessed me with children and a home. We will serve you. And so I'm not sin in our sin. You smell sick in our sin. I will be a dog, me no know. Jesus. You're nasty in our sin. You make some commitment with God. And say, God, if you do this to me, me do that. God, if you do this to me, me do that. And God, do almost everything to you. And you still know I'm God. Criticize church, talk all kind of things. You never give none to the kingdom of God. God bless you and your work and your name and everything. Don't you really bad like that? Yes, with Jesus. And sometimes we want to run church and run things. Then step this and I give your heart to the Lord before you're dead and go hell. I don't care if you're dead and gone hell, you're dead and gone hell. It's alright. If your mother knows say you dead and gone to hell, she will cry when she's a Christian or your father. And the mother will cry. But uh, you make your choice. And if me even have a friend, and then pick me out of family, dead and gone to hell, I don't have to feel it and cry, but I don't have to feel it and cry, but the devil is a liar. Oh, no, no. And I don't plan for dead and gone to hell. And then I don't have to feel it. But I don't want to come back to me. But we still sympathize. Because yes. I'm a mother. Yes. Me carry a womb and children come out of Feel hurt over someone to let you know feel it too. Yes. Me not be no hypocrite, but you make a child to dead and gone to hell. So if you make your family dead and gone to hell, you look for me and you are born every day. How do you make them child? Every time this is for them one by time. Yes. If my children choose to dead and gone to hell, they make them child. Yes. For me, we cry. Yes. For me, I'm born for the rest of lifetime. Jesus. Preach, woman. Hey. Yes, sir. So I'm not preach our message to people love you. Me a priest message for church empty and chair empty. Me a priest for church empty and chair empty. So I mean I never nobody out of that ask them for nothing. I mean I call them ask them for the money. Exalt to that nation. A city is a report for any man. What if a people make them want to come to church and because they are sweet and so hard? They have their wife and they have other woman. So they don't want one of them to speak them up. Stop them up. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah! The Philistines spread themselves against David. They surrounded him in a hole. They fenced him around about. Their military might could have fought with David's armor. My God. Hallelujah. And as I was saying to them, what you rise to greatness, applauding you with, you will instigate people against you. He will conspire to pull you, pull you down. Yet you will keep you with all your fear if you serve God. If you really serve God, I mean God, and I do what God says to do. I don't care what demons, yes. Satan, the main devil, the adversary of the a sign against you. The whole of them have to fall. Amen. Unless you have played church. I don't care what demons and devils say that a sign and put up against me. You want to be fall. Touch not the Lord's anointing. Not do his prophet, and do his no, prophet harm. no harm. Don't be afraid of no demons of no devil. And when God call you an anointing to declare and decree the word, don't let nobody shut you down and shut up your mouth. Hey. The blood of Jesus has closed mouth get no deal. You never praise up and praise God when worship and go on your mouth shut. You have nothing to gain. 
that's what I'm going to preach on in a cartoon. Yeah. I guess when the, it's when the mouth open, I'm in vice, go for it. Me and I ain't a big preacher like now, but it's when the mouth open, I'm in vice, go for it. I run there on our five bus. And you know, the driver said to me, say, I'm good in a thief to hand me up because you can't trust them. But then you know, there's some police station and some people go over there. But you know, me still go over there, you know? Me still out of obedience go over there. After one of the policemen started to call, call me and say, Paul, you just look here. I keep you look up with a gold ring there, girl, and I don't want to go to. God talk to me. I don't know me talk. I'm going to go to one of the photos. I've never got photos and lose it, you know. I don't know that it's another case by itself. Let me finish the message. I never got photos yet and lose. Remember me tell you, I carry an anointing. I am always on the winning side. Yes. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. Somebody give God some praise. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. It was the same God who had made David by his hand to slay a lion and a wild bear and Goliath, the huge giant before whom the whole army of Israel Afraid of them. The whole army of Israel afraid of this giant. But David, with God, little David, with a big God inside of him, was not afraid of the giant. The whole army of Israel was called when this giant talked, when this giant roared. By the spiritual revelation, David had about God. He feared the Philistine and defeated them. He acknowledged that he didn't smite the Philistine in his might. Listen to this, brothers and sisters. David acknowledged that he did not destroy the Philistine, the giant, in his might, nor in his strength. Listen to the But the Lord did that through him. A lot of time he wants Christian. How much time, you know what time you have to hurt some people? Um, I'm a heal him. I'm a pray for him, I'm a heal him. I'm a pray for him, I'm a deliver him. You don't want to deliver a fly, can you fly with deliver yourself? God, evangelist, my friend, sometimes we sick like a dog, or feel weak like a dog, and you are praying for yourself and your deliverance, they might come at the time. But just we go heal him and deliver him. Who can you heal and deliver? Nobody. It is God who works through you. He don't want to make a circle around somebody and pray for them. And tomorrow when you see them, they say they feel better. It was God who flowed through you as a vehicle and a vessel and they get the deliverance. Yes, right. Nobody can heal nobody. Right. If a fly is dead right now, me can't heal it. I'm going to think that I heal fly and bring it back to life. I'm going to fly them out. And fly contaminated and full of disease. So if fly dead, fly just stay dead. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He acknowledged that. Zechariah 4 6. He what Zechariah 4 6 said. This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by spirit, but by the spirit. Not by might, nor by power, but by the spirit. Set the Lord of those. In our sense, we are powerless to overthrow the throne and break through demonic resistance and opposition in order to access our inheritance. But understand that he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit. 1 Corinthians 6 17. Your breakthrough is now. Don't give up. Your breakthrough is now. Don't give in. Your breakthrough is now. Do not throw in the towel. Your breakthrough is now. Let nobody come telling you nothing other than that in this season. Your breakthrough is now. Stop worrying about clothes. You have already had no clothes and you can mix a mat and interchange. Every mix and match look like a big style and somebody run with all this time. I don't know if you mix and match and pass your past. Somebody keep God some praise. Somebody worship God in this place. Somebody lift up your hands to the Creator and the Maker of heaven and earth. Hallelujah! My God, they can't find it. Somebody praise God. Praise the Lord. Somebody praise God. Hallelujah! As we march into frontline warfare against Satan and his demon in hierarchies, it is not our flesh and blood confronting them. No, we are marching and wielding the sword of the Spirit empowered by God, our own fortress and habitation, Ephesians 2 22, in whom we also are built together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. 
The simplest way to understand it is when we look at our soldiers protect themselves by going into and riding in armored fighting vehicle, especially the armored tank. Yes, that one that I like to see and wish if I could get a ride in it sometime when a seat a pass through Spanish dog. In a sort of their enemy, these vehicles, though not impregnable, does offer a greater degree of mobility and, and protection than their body armor. These kinds of vehicles can always gain and inroad into the enemy camp. So they are not easily defeated in these armored vehicles. Ah, these vehicles are armored more than even their high power weapon because they can still have them high power weapon and dead because a policeman was gone down yesterday and he did have him gone by him, but he's still dead. Somebody give God some praise. Jesus. Somebody worship God. Hallelujah. But we serve a God, the one who say it's your breakthrough now. We serve a God who I was well protected, who I was well armored. We are armored more than God's man. There is a company by the name of Shark. We are armored more than Shark. There are so many different names, security places. We are more armored and protected by God more than all of them. You have archive. And you have all different but there is a God yes. who protects us 24 7. He tells us in Psalms 91 and verse 1 that he that dwells in, in the secret place of the Lord shall, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In real sense, it is not the soldier engaging in an hand to hand combat, but through the avenue of this armor town they are able to accomplish incredible results because they are on the inside keeping out on the outside through a little hole and then the gun mouth of a little hole and they are able to conquer they can conquer millions if they choose to come to kill off a city they can kill off a city because the armored car protect their bodies from doing the work so it is God has armored us and protect us and we are surrounded by angels. When you think you are alone and lie, you are tell you are not alone. When you're in your prayer closet and pray, you are tell God, oh God, I'm alone. God, the family, they now give their heart to the Lord of me. Continue to see him. There was a time I'm alone inside of my family get saved. I may attack specifically my mother. I'm a mother children, they me alone get saved. I may have I may have got together about us and look what you sister me have. I'm a sister them now get saved when we take a start. My sister them from my father's side. I'm a sister them from my mother's side start get saved one time. How many have a holy for heart? Are too much heart? And so then get saved, we just say, come take heart. Yes. Come come take heart. Until me only have two chapel caps now for the churches, then we love to see hot fire. You know, so me I swear. When me I do it big hot cover down behind, me can't even see when the wicked they don't get us down. Somebody give God some praise. Somebody worship yes, God. God. Somebody give God some Glory. praise. Hallelujah. <laughs> Just as the soldiers stay in the armor town to confront the enemy. Our lives are in with Christ in God, Colossians 3 3. When we confront the powers of darkness, it is not the might of our human nature that breaks through their opposition, but the Lord acting through us. Acts 17 28. For in Him we live and move and have our being. The Lord is in us, the Lord is in you. To prevail mighty against our adversary, the devil. David made it clear that the great victory he had over the Philistine was won by the Lord acting via him. And he said, the Lord has broke through my enemies before me like the breakthrough of waters. It was a breakthrough, an act of offensive trust against enemy lines. The barrier before him was broken to discomfort, subdue, and demolish his enemy. To subdue, oh God Almighty, glory be to God. It must be taken by force. We can't be passive if we must celebrate victories. In fact, warfare surrounds the, 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 the birth of any, the, the, of any miracle. Miracles don't happen by chance or luck. Glory be to God. It does not... It does not matter the limitation that have held them back from attaining their highest dream. But we have a winning factor in God that puts us over every obstacle in life. 
They will rise to greatness. It does not matter what your present status or status is in life. There is more you can accomplish. Your best days are not behind you. Your best days are not behind you. Your best days is in front of you. But before us, embrace yourself for a change. Get ready to see God, mighty God, take you beyond where you are today. John 4.4, 4, you are of God with the children and have overcame them because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah! Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah! Somebody worship God. Hallelujah! Somebody Thank give you, God Jesus. some praise. Hallelujah! Somebody give God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. Put some praise on Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Come here, sister. Hallelujah. Drink, um, uh, um, This is not water. I want no more, but this is not. We thank you for giving virtue. We thank you for deliverance. We thank you for what you're about to do with your daughter today. Now. Today. Now. In the name of Jesus. Before the day is over, what's my God is about to do in your life? Somebody give God some praise. Hallelujah! Somebody pray to your hand and say praise you. Somebody point your hand for and Somebody point your hand for and Somebody say break you. Come on, church, say with power and attention. Break you. 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 Deliverance is a process. 
But Lord, we are working now. Just live, said God. Just live. Just live. Stay far from everything that is unclean. Run from everything that is unholy. And stay at the altar. In your walking, you're praying. In your sleeping, you're praying. In your talking, in your praying. In your worship, you're praying. In your praise, you're praying. Because I'm going to make your name great and I'm going to lift you. And all mouth that put on you and everything negative that they say about you. Ah, oh, you break through now. And every spirit of madness that wants to surround you. And every spirit of depression. Mm. I come against the spirit of suicide too. I come against the spirit of suicide. Go. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. You spirit of suicide. Back up. Back up. You spirit of madness. Back up. Back up. Touch not the dog in the morning. Touch not the dog in the morning. And do his fucking work. But God is about to bring my enemies to shame. And many will come and confess to you too. God has given you the glory. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Today, I just want to thank God for using me. It's nothing about you, Lord. It's nothing about me, Lord. But it's all about you, Lord. I thank you for using me at that time. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Lord, prepare me to be a sanctuary, pure and holy, tried and true. With thanksgiving, I be a living sanctuary for you. Father, we thank you for everyone in the house today. We thank you for those on the outside who listen to us every week. God, they might not yet surrender to you, but they listen. We thank you for those in the community, those at the room bar, wherever they are, behind a tree, behind a wall, upstairs, wherever. We thank you for them. Not only that, we thank you for this community. Not only for that, I thank you for the people that you have in the ministry, the remnant that stands with us and work with us as leaders. Father, we thank you for those that come today. We thank you for the family that is here today. We thank you for the word that goes forth. We thank you for the part of the word that everyone received because there's a part for everyone. And so, God, every part that they take for themselves, that's important. Father, as we pray today for those on Facebook, as we pray for those on YouTube, I decree and declare that those documents that your people are waiting on, those documents that are signed for three years and four years, I decree and declare speed upon them. I pray, mighty God, that today is the starting of the week, and before the week is finally over, somebody will receive their green card. Somebody will receive their documents in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for all the passports. Oh God, that persons are going to go get their passport. And I thank you for all the visas that are going to be released this year. I thank you for the ones that are going to release next year also. I thank you that more will be released more than what they desire to release. Father, today as your people are one the world, listen on YouTube and on Facebook. Thank you for it. Thank you for the donors. Thank you for those who give to the feeding ministry so that we can feed those party and people on the street. Thank you for those who give to this ministry time and time again. Thank you for those who help to carry on the business of this ministry. Thank you for them. Father, today, I release a blessing over them. Some of them are from this ministry, but they live overseas. Some of them are visitors of this ministry, but they live overseas. Some of them, when they come, they come to visit time and time. And I thank you for those in the Caribbean island that truly on these lines. 
Father, I release a prophetic blessing upon them. I decree break you now over them. Break you now over them. Lord, remember Glenn, as you bring him up before me and bring up his name. I didn't even remember about him during the whole day morning service, but I hear you say Glenn. Father, wherever Glenn is right now, make a way for him, provide for him. If he's not close to you, put him close to you. Father, we thank you for that which you are about to do, what you are going to do. The children going back to school, provide for them. Bob, books, everything, provide for their parents. Bless their parents so that they can be a blessing to them. Lord, remember our children too. And our grandchildren. Cover them and protect them from the onslaught of the wicked enemy. Father, I now release a blessing. Your grace and your favor. Go with your people now. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.